Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Does your Raspberry Pi display only show up in the top left corner like this? Well, let me show you how to fix it. So for the sake of good video, I did go ahead and fix mine and reboot my machine, but let me show you how I did that. I'd already tried going through the normal methods where we would come up here and click the Raspberry Pi icon and then preferences and then configuration. None of that was working for me. I tried doing it uh, with sudo raspi-config and still I couldn't get it to work. Here's what I ended up doing. I ran sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config dot, whoop, dot txt. And let's start coming down through this file. These four lines right here, I added to this file. In fact, I think I uncommented these first two and I added these second two. Uh, but you'll notice here on these two lines that 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution that I wanted to run. Uh, the next thing I did was right here, this HDMI underscore force underscore hot plug equals one. I went ahead and uncommented this line as well. And then finally, let's scroll on down this file and find this other section here. Uh, right, almost there, right here. Right here where you see Enable DRM VC4 V3D Driver. I went ahead and commented out these two lines here. This is some new driver that they're using inside of Bullseye. And I have seen this issue personally on a Raspberry Pi 2W, uh, I'm sorry, a Raspberry Pi 0 2W, and I've heard reports of guys having this issue when they're trying to access their Pi 3s through VNC. Once you get these changes made, and I just, you, uh, to comment these out, you just put a pound sign in front of it. Uh, once you get these changes made, go ahead and press Control S to save the file and Control X to get out. Once you get out of the file, Reboot your machine and you should be in business. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.